awkward style. He likes to counter punch. I mean, he likes to be aggressive too, throws good body shots. But um, uh, I just think with pressure, you can beat him down. Um, I'm not entirely sure about Jenks' style. Um, by his record, 7 0 and 7 KOs, you know he's a puncher, so. Um, I'm pretty much ready for anything. I just become, I just get in the best shape as possible at every fight, and uh, whatever comes to the table, I'm ready for anything. If he comes and wants a box, he wants a punch, if he wants to move in, I, I'm going to call the shots in there. So, well, I've seen Jenks fight quite a few times, and like I said, I had a kid that we fought in the amateurs three times against him. So I'm, I'm pretty familiar with Jenks and his style. He went to Vegas and he learned this little hopscotch thing that he does, but. Everybody's got a good game plan until they get hit. And when they get hit with the power that Adam has, it changes the whole game plan. This is, this is a big fight, probably one of the biggest fights in maybe a couple of years or something. So I think it's going to do a lot for Western Canada. I know, uh, I know the venue that it's going to be at is going to be sold out. Like fan base promotions, they always put on really good cards. And, this fight is great for Western Canada because it gets the, the fans involved and gets uh, showing a rivalry between uh, two, uh, two undefeated athletes. So I think this will be great for the West and uh, hopefully we can uh, pick up some enthusiasm in the boxing world down this way. Well, the last time I was in Montreal, it was in Three Rivers for the Nationals and I seen things there that I wish would happen here in Western Canada. The people are so behind their fighters, whether they're good or they're not good. I seen John Pascal work a spit bucket for the people that he was, uh, his coach was working in the Nationals. Everybody there is not too sexy for themselves. Here, it's a little different. You know, we don't have the amount of gyms that they have in the East or the amount of boxers that we have in the East, but. You know, we got Claggett's and we got, uh, you know, Jenks's now, so he says, and we have, you know, obviously Adam Troopish. This is going to be a sign of what's to come yet in the West. The West at one point here will rule. Um, on January 13th, I'm going to be in the best shape of my life, and I'm ready to come out and take the title. I'm, I'm going to take advantage of this opportunity and just get ready as I always do and be 110% and uh, you know and I, I hope that he's because uh, he's the one who challenged me so I hope he brings it to the table.